Yeah, like over the last two weeks, you know, playing franchise in y'all shit and, you know, playing Keith, coming out of his franchise, like, he got some new plays and shit. I said, oh shit, that nigga got a new whole fucking scheme. He beat me a couple times. But I'm on a, I'm on a five game winning streak with him. Like, but, uh, what I did was, I went in my playbook and I took a lot, I mean, I, 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 I consolidated that shit. I, I really broke it down to the plays I really run. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna need all this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I got so many plays in that motherfucker. I'm like, man, I don't need all these formations. I don't need all this shit. I don't even really run that. I roll past that shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, I got rid of it. Yeah, I got rid of all that shit. And I'm gonna keep it simple on motherfuckers. And they, now, now they about to see the real me when I, when I keep it simple. It's gonna be serious. Man, I just lost a heart. Really? Forty five to thirty nine. What? Mitchell for the Ravens ran like a sixty yard touchdown to win the game in overtime. What? This Ravens bitch beat my ass with the Browns. You had him, but you had you had that you had the nigga in your grass. Look, uh Deshaun overthrew DK for a touchdown in the fourth quarter, but I still found a way to to uh to get the lead back. Mm-hmm. I ran the kick and I ran the kick off back for a touchdown. Then he came down and scored. So then at the end, at the end of that yeah. session, I offered him to yeah. the kick off back, but Justin Tucker tackled me. So I ended up throwing a bomb to DK to go up by three with like 15 seconds left. And he threw a long pass to get in field goal range for Justin Tucker to send it to overtime. So you, you know, I'm going I'm I'm to do a score. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this, Brian. You know when you play me, when you play me, when you go back and play everybody else you play, you get better. You know that. You know what I mean? Man, I ain't trying to hear that, man. You know, hey, 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 send me one right now. Send me one right now, man. You know, just, 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 just. Send me it ain't nothing about that game with the Eagles and Falcons. I mean, with the Eagles and the Dolphins that that you did to make me better, nigga. You should have lost that Send me, send me one, send me one right now. I feel like getting it in, and I'm tipsy. I ain't never been scared. I don't want to hear that and I'm tipsy shit. That means I'm focused. Call me out like I'm a nigga. Man, it ain't even about that, John. I ain't, it's not even about that, Brian. You my friend. I'm always gonna tell you all the tips I know. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. I, 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 you know, you know what's, you know what's crazy. You know what's crazy. You know what's crazy. You know what's crazy? I, oh, I always tell Keith all the tips I know. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to be better, man. I want y'all to be better. I have to honestly, Mike. I don't even be using that shit. I know. I know you don't. Keith don't either. Cause y'all so y'all 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 y'all, y'all, y'all so y'all. Y'all so y'all so defiant, but I have I have I have some corners that y'all should take and incorporate. You know what I mean? But you, if you don't want to, then continue to get used by it. You know what I'm saying? It may be no different. It's not about that, bro. It's like it's like first and foremost, what works for you works for you. Second of all, I'm I'm, I'm barely. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm trying to get perfection and running my shit and then add more shit to it. It's too much. Yeah. But hey, you remember you remember what I told you? You remember what I told you last week about the uh um what was it? Uh what I, I don't even remember what I told you last week. What's up, Brian? Uh, if you don't remember what you told me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, I don't know. Yeah, of course you don't remember, so it's good. What's up, Brian? Yeah, he hit, he hit, what up, what up, what up, my bad. He hit, I don't know what I thought. He hit Jazzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jazzy be trying to, he, Jazzy be trying to come in and talk like a grown ass man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's up, Brian? It, I don't know why I thought you was fucking with me, but his voice changed so much, bro. He didn't even sound like him, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was standing, he was standing over top of me. <laughs> Yeah, he was, he was standing over top of me when he was saying that shit. Oh, oh shit. I told him, him and the Marcus were the games that, um, that we were playing. 
I told Jazzy, I said, Jazzy, you got the Vikings game. I told, I told, I told him, I told him what to do to your brother. I told him, I told him what to do to your brother. Hey, I told him, I told him, I said, man, this how he beat me. This how he beat me. He beat me. You gotta have them crossing routes. We see his linebackers go crosses, crosses. You know what I mean? Man, you ain't tell me that before I lost. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that before I lost, and I told you like I was fucking around. I was fucking around and got them um, practice mode, and that and that's how I didn't put the playbook back that I had to do. Yeah. I mean that's how I beat him the first time. Ooh, you got the Texas too. Ooh, you want to tell me? You want to tell me everything you was talking about that day? I see that. Bye, bye, Brian. Bye, 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 bye. Coming 
first and ten at Swift. And he'll get what he can up the middle of three yards. So that'll bring up second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. knew that they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Swift gonna try up the middle. Man, that's bullshit, yo. With strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. What the fuck? Oh. So from the 37, here's second down and two. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dennis Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas Goddard, 37 yards. And the Eagles respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Okay. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. It's a touchdown. It's not really true. But the last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration of pure, unbridled joy after that one. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. First run of the game here for Damian Pierce. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now here's Stroud on third down. He's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel laser focus and confidence about him. I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Ready. On second down, it's Stroud. He'll get this into the hands of the Eagles. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. These two teams all tied after one. Territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 35 yard line. Now Stroud. Oh. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Session. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Let's go now. They'll run here with Pierce, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Tackling's obviously critical down near the goal line. That was great work there to make the hit behind the line and make sure he doesn't get any further. Did a really nice job wrapping up and not letting him loose. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Stroud to throw it, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. What the Flag fuck is that? What the fuck was that, yo? What the fuck was that, man? Fair bear down to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Oh, 
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. So from the 22, here's second and two. They go back to the ground, this time swift. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let it go deep down the left side. Oh, he out of bounds! Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, the line did really well. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stopped that one behind the line of scrimmage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, Expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Stroud looking to throw. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that oh third down, that they would be looking his way if they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. First down, here's Stroud. 
He's got it to Collins complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Chicken, come in here. Already at the line, you don't know this Philly offense set to go. Oh. And a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of time for him, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well on that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Set 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That's was moving a little bit out of back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now is second and ten. Set the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. So no, they late, accept man. the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Here's a handoff to Swift, running left. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play there just before halftime. 44 yards on the ground. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. On first down, Hurts. Touchdown! Devontae Smith in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles are able to cut an Eagles lead in the final seconds of the first half. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really yeah, to take into the, the lockers going here. On here. Elliott good on the extra point, and they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Final play of the half, Stroud. Taking a shot for Dell here. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Keely Ringo picks it off. And he will be brought down. Oh, 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 oh. final play of this first oh, oh. half. <laughs> That's it for the for first what? half. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to go. to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We I mean, they, they gave us some. They gave us some for that. Hey, we took we took, they, they, we took the young player. So we, we had to give it back to the Jets. I saw the only person I could say it go to. As long as he didn't go to the Cowboys. Why the fuck? I keep downing the ball in the end zone. I want to run out. Charles, and that first half is a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty good. Because his game planning is always 
is on point. And now they've getting the ball to start the second half. Brian, How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, Brian, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads so, to a second and 11. Double team that right in right there. I'm so excited to watch him play with the Eagles. Saquon is talking about, you know you don't have to watch him. But oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw by Goddard. The Eagles are taking Tom Reddick to the New York Jets for a conditional 2026 third round pick that can become a second season. Sounds right. From the 42 yard line, here's second down and five. Here's a hit off to Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look coming from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Third down and six. They'll look to throw here. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 59 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Elliott on for the extra point. Oh. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Oh, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense beat a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. 
big time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. A handoff, Swift running to the left. Desmond King making the tackle. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Christian Harris there finding his way home to record the sack. Doesn't get them all over when you're playing a defensive strategy. And that particular play just came from the outside. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. Now a give, right side, Swift. And he went backwards. Going to be down at the 30. That winds up being a 40-yard loss and leads to fourth down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game. The key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. What? You gonna pick it up? I agree. Those are the ones that eat at you as a kicker. Tie game, third quarter. This is one you know you should make. Instead, you miss it, and it's jubilation on the other sideline. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception to result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's Stroud. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Keely Ringo picks it off. And the Eagles are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result could be something you don't like. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, game well looking for space. Trying to find a lane, but instead they get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Third down, it's game one. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Last play, they got stumped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. 
All even as we get ready to start the fourth. On the handoff, this is Swift. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Oh, Rush coming, and he's taken down. Denzel Perryman with a sack. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the loose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebackers look free. now can they get closer on third down a field goal from here you're looking at right about a 52 yarder the Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts that'll leave them with two remaining we'll be back after this Inches, my ass. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe call it fourth and inches. Fourth and inches, my ass, yo. This progression is downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? God damn. Yeah, that's bullshit. on the other side one through the post and this thing could be over the Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive their defense was able to hold serve albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten and they tackled at the 23 after a gain of three 
don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was put on some of the defense. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tight game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Now Stroud. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. They'll come up now. This is second and long. Here's Stroud. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Picked up by Isaiah Rogers. There he goes, right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. In a tie game fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you could possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. This is first and 10. Stroud. to Collins, and they're going to get this beat what? the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts what? as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 yeah. seconds left to go in that the one. game. <laughs> they were not about. Timeout still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Stroud to throw it. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here comes second down. To throw it Stroud. Got a man. It's Collins complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop him with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Stroud back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. No timeouts left. Of course, the defense knows that, too. Here's first and ten. Stroud looks to throw. It's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. And you have to wonder, Charles, in a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage <laughs> if he keeps throwing interceptions. Down to an ego's hurts, and that is going to be that. The 
That second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive.